Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we have another episode of Floss Tube, which is a video all about cross stitch and knitting. Uh, specifically more about cross stitch at the moment because I only knit a little bit here and there, but I hope you enjoy. Join me, get a drink. Today I'm having some raspberry lemonade because it's supposed to be summer but we're in the middle of a storm right now and it's actually really windy and rainy and crazy outside. So cheers <laughs> to unseasonable weather. <laughs> Ooh, that'll wake you up. So first things first, last week I had a giveaway in my video and it was for the chart of Notre Dame, which was in one of the one of the books over here in the world of cross stitching magazine and it is there there were a lot of comments so i'm just going to pick a winner now the normal uh website that i use to pick comments is down at the moment so i found another youtube random comment picker i think you can see the video there sorry for the jump cut but the person that i picked wasn't actually on the list so we're gonna try again uh the person i picked just before this yeah uh so i've gone ahead and i'm using a different youtube random comment picker uh, there are 18 comments with the word Dom for Notre Dame. Uh, I picked Dom because Notre may or may not have been misspelled a few times. So let's go. Sylvia, Sylvia, congratulations. I'm pretty sure that I have your details. I'm just gonna double check really quick. Bear with me. Yes. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Yes, I have your details. Thank you so much for filling in the happy mail form. If in the future you are interested in joining up and entering into giveaways, make sure that you participate by clicking into that happy mail form, which is just below this video in the description box. And that way I can get your information so I can send you out those giveaway prizes right away. No messing. So thank you so much, Sylvia. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy stitching Notre Dame. So thank you so much to everyone who entered in the giveaway. Um, I really enjoy hosting giveaways on my channel. I don't do it every episode, but I do have plenty to share and I really like to. So stay tuned. Uh, okay, let's get into it. So this week I didn't really stitch all that much. Uh, I, I wasn't in a groove for it. I sat down many nights and I just decided to knit instead. So we have a bit of a, a knit thing at the end for me to show you. But I did work on one whip and that is the Stiatch Alone. So I've finished week two on my project. See him there? So Stiatch alone, Stiatch, I've mentioned it several times. If you don't know what it is, have a look at stiatch.com. At the moment, they are doing a pattern called Bless This House, and it's basically a, a very photorealistic of House Hugh Laurie. You know that TV show? Hugh Laurie's face. I'm not stitching the border or the words. I'm going to be going off pattern for words at the end. I have an idea that I wanted to do my on my own. So I'm just stitching his face on this beautiful piece of fabric. This is Ember by craftykitten.co.uk and I believe it is a 28 count Lugana. Yes, my camera doesn't like it when I move around a lot. So um, it's looking really, really good. I decided on this kind of blue palette. I'm I'm now starting to doubt my choice in the fa in the thread colors, but it is what it is and it's fine. It does look really good. Um, maybe not on camera, but in person, it really just jumps off of the fabric. Hello. It really jumps out at you. It looks 3D. So I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And it only took, I don't know, not even, not even, I want to say maybe an hour an hour and a half to do week two so it is for for just the face you know if you're doing the border of course it's going to take longer but I find it to be quite relaxing and the small easy like 
this it's a small amount of stitching and you feel like you're accomplishing a lot because you're getting it done uh, and you can see your progress quicker because it's smaller so maybe in future I will be doing more of that okay now <laughs> that was literally it um, I did not touch my stitch your own adventures letters from Hogwarts. Sorry, I I am I have been using the wrong uh, word. I keep saying letters to Hogwarts. It's not to. It's from. I keep forgetting. Uh, it just slides off the tongue easier, I guess. And then when you get in the habit of saying it one way, it just becomes a habit. Yeah. So anyway, um, this weekend, Stitch Media. What I've been doing for Stitch Mania, which is where you would start a bunch of new projects in May, uh, just because it's my first one and I don't really have that many projects to start. I haven't kitted up a bunch of stuff, um, but I have enough to do three a week. So I'm doing three and starting them on the weekend. I'm only working on them for one day and then I'm using the rest of the week to work on whatever works in progress that I want to work on. I don't have any rules or uh, guidelines for myself because I don't work that well under pressure. I get overwhelmed very quickly so or very easily, so I just don't even bother with that kind of thing. It's just if I feel like working on something, I work on it, and if I don't, I don't, and I try not to stress about it because it's crafting. It's not work. It's not, it's not that serious. Okay. First up on Stitch Mania is this Realis Unicorn Kit. This comes, I'll put in a picture because it does blow in and out of the brightness. Um, and I want you to be able to see it. This was a 16 count Zweigart Ada with a pre-printed background. It is cotton, it, it's very, very thick fabric. It's, it's a little bit squeaky. <laughs> Um, and it came with the chart, the floss, everything was pre-measured and beautiful. And in the auction win, I also received a bag, a needle minder, uh, scissors. It was insane. It was great. Thank you so much, Michelle, because I did start it yesterday. Not that you can really see much, <laughs> but isn't that Ada amazing? Isn't it beautiful? I love the picture. So essentially what I have done here is I have the belly, the belly of the beast, and down the leg. So the, it's, it's very hard to see, honestly. Mm -hmm. And we're back to this again. I feel like I feel like an actual teacher so here we have the belly and the leg that's what I've completed I did two colors now on this particular kit it's very complicated in that there are a lot of blends and different numbers of threads for different areas so you have to read it very carefully and it's more of a chart than written instructions so it did get a bit confusing but at the very beginning and I went back with an extra piece of floss and did my third thread but after that I got the groove and it's just be it's beautiful I love the fabric I am concerned though and maybe you can help me for any of you who have worked on pre-stamped like painted background stuff before from Riolis you see this here this printer markings here at the bottom it's got realists um it's in in russian i think but um they've got the name and then some printer marks and the number of the model number of the kit how would i get those out would i just carefully get those parts wet or do i just frame here i'm, I'm guessing i just frame that and that goes away somewhere um input would be lovely please i would love that i'd love your help so that was my start yesterday admittedly i didn't do too much it's 
So that was my new start yesterday. I didn't really do too much as far as cross stitching went um, because we had a, I had a Patreon live stream for anybody who's interested. I have a Patreon. That's where people who support my work and what I do, um, we just hang out. <laughs> and we were together for about two and a half hours last night and I was diamond painting at the time. I, I switch up the crafts in the live streams. And we were just chit chatting and having a good night. Um, and then I went back to that and joined in on the group that I'm with for the Stiacha loan. Uh, my group name, the group that I joined is called Sips and Stitches because, yeah, we like to imbibe. Um, and so I was hanging out with um, Jesse, Pippa, Carrie, and who else was there? Marissa was there. Um, and it was really nice to just kind of relax. Um, but I didn't get off there until like 2 or 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> so we're having a late start today. Um but it was nice to just hang out and, and, and do that sort of thing. If you're interested in joining the Stiach alone or joining a group, if you need a group, holler at Jessie at Missly Pages here on YouTube. I mention her all the time. She is in the Link Haven, if you're wondering. YouTubers mentioned in my videos are linked in the Link Haven as well, all the way at the bottom. So please check them out if you're interested. Today. Today, I'm going to start a very much anticipated stitch along. Me, Jesse from the Slate Pages, and Heike from Stone Cold Coffee Crafts are going to start our yoga corns pattern. Uh, this is from Little Room in the Attic. It's really hard to see, but I'll put it in the picture. Uh, I am doing yoga corns one, I think. Hello. Heike and Jesse. Heike and Jesse are doing the other versions that Little Room in the Attic has. And I decided to do mine on Galaxy Ada. So this is a 16 count Ada. It's gorgeous. Pre-printed. I got this on Etsy and I have the link to the fabric in the Link Haven. Uh, if you're interested, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous. So I'm excited to get started on this. It's really interesting because it's, again, very stiff, Ada. It's not Zweigart. I don't know, I don't remember what it was, but it was a good price. So I went ahead and ordered it. So that's gonna happen today. I'm really excited because I am going to be doing a lot of things today, but one of the main things is focusing on this project and getting it started. Uh, we are going to be working on this together, and if you're interested in working along with us, then please join along. I will make sure to have a hashtag pop up on the screen. I don't know if we decided on one, we probably did, uh, and it's buried inside of one of the group chats. <laughs> I really have the memory of a gnat. You can ask anybody. Um, in fact, um, I totally forgot that Heike even got me all of the Krynik for this project. So I I had, I was kidding it up and I totally forgot that she had sent the Krynik, but she sent it in a different little case because she likes to package things all nice and neat and pretty and totally forgot about it. <laughs> I need to go watch my own videos apparently. So. Anyway, um, this is one of the reasons why I make YouTube videos, because I never remember anything. Uh, and then I've decided on the start that I will begin on Sunday, which I find Sundays I have the most time to sit and stitch. So Sunday, we are going to be, oh. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. We are going to start. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see. Sheep Peep. Sheep Peep by Plum Street Samplers. Again, I'll put up a picture because my camera and the, it's the light from outside. It's really bright today. Um, I realized that I should probably do this in a different room, but then it means lugging all the stuff. If it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. Just 
be patient with me, please. This is a 36 count Oaken from Picture This Plus, and that is true to color. It is a little bit more green tinged dark brown, but it's beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to stitch it like so in the middle, schmack dab, and uh, I might make a pillow out of this. I'm not sure, um, but I want to do something fancy because I got all the fancy floss, all of the week's dye works. I want to show you um, here in a moment, once it gets myself together, have a look at this floss toss because I'm telling y'all, it's perfect. Uh, and I'm really excited for this particular kit, not just because I love sheep. I live next to a sheep field. <laughs> uh, but the colors work so well together and it's got these beautiful purples and pinks and even the crimson in there as well. And it all just pops perfectly off of this beautiful fabric. Beautiful. I love it. So that is Sunday's new start. And that means that we have a lot of work ahead. Oh, I didn't show you last week's. Oh my goodness. I'm just barreling ahead. So on Saturday, I started the Twisted Rainbow Sampler by Northern Needlework Expressions, that one. And I was doing really well and I was super proud of myself and I thought I was doing everything right. But as you know, I am a new stitcher, very new. <laughs> Still haven't even hit a year yet, and I made a big boo-boo somewhere. So maybe you can help me find the mistake. Sorry, let me stand up because you can't see it. Okay, so this is the start that I made, and obviously I have too few um, diamond shapes in this side. So somewhere I really messed up. So I think I have to rip out all of the yellow again. Can you see the colors? See how it's shifted a little wrong? And that's because I decided to start this on Saturday and Saturday is my busiest day where I need the most concentration to do other stuff. I should have picked an easier stitch for Saturday. So that means I have to go back and rip out all the yellow and redo it, but I'm not doing that right now because it's mania and we're just starting all the things. We are not restarting the things. So when I'm ready to pick that back up again, I will. That is a 28 count Vigart Lugana. If you're wondering with the, well, not called for, but recommended Dinky Dye Silk Pack. And then on last Sunday, I started the Frog and Wellies. I think I was calling it Frog and Umbrella, but it's actually called Frog and Wellies by Fabi Riley in the World of Cross Stitch magazine. And that is my little tiny itty bitty start. You can see the outline of the frog. And I was super excited with this because I got to use one of the new DMC numbers, which is 16, pistachio. It's such a beautiful color and it really pops on this crafty kitten fabric that I got. And that is in the color, did I write it down somewhere? <laughs> I wrote a tracking number down on that piece of paper. Uh, I thought I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, I don't remember. I'm so sorry, but it's just beautiful. Gorgeous little piece of fabric. 
Okay, so that is pretty much all the stitching that I did. So aside from Mania, I did very little, and then I jumped back into Mania again. I think I'm at the stage at the moment where I feel like I have started too many things. Do you know what I mean? Like in my own brain, it's not that I feel guilty, because I promised myself I wouldn't feel guilty for starting all the things. I said, putting, putting a few dozen stitches into a project and then putting it back where it was is not gonna hurt anybody. And I shouldn't feel like I need to necessarily start it right away. But it is nice to have a lot of options if I'm feeling a certain project or a certain fabric that day. So it is nice, but I guess it was just a combination of factors and who really knows? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Haul. <laughs> Last week I actually did buy something new that I didn't tell you all about and it's a heaven and earth design. I know, I know. So one of the things, excuse me, that I got was this big old piece of Easy Count Lugana. I can take it out. I'll just take out a little bit of it. Ta-da! Uh, 28 Count Brittany. And this is a huge piece of fabric. I don't know why I ordered a big piece. I must go back and check, actually. Sorry, I'm scratching my face. I'm not used to wearing makeup, y'all. Um, I'm not sure why I got it so big. I am going to be working on the... Is it Randall Spangler? It is. A Randall Spangler mini called Trick or Treat. It's basically everything I want in a Halloween stitch, except it's big. So we'll see when I start, when I start that. I did order a thread pack for it. It's on the way. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, I also have the mini Christmas tree farm heaven and earth design up there. And that one, I'm not going to start on the 18 count Ada because I really just don't like 18 count Ada. And I feel like one over one, maybe I could do tent stitch. I don't know. I haven't decided. As soon as I start saying stuff, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Another thing that arrived this week are these. These are keychains. I'm going to try to show you actually, originally I was actually using a, um, you know, those twist ties that come on, on, uh, loaves of bread. Yeah. I was using one of them for my <laughs> floss away bags cause they have a hole at the top, but instead I was watching creativity by Gidge here on YouTube and she showed these rings and I finally found them. Thanks to the help of my girls on last Saturday. Uh, I think it was last Saturday, the Saturday before. And I was like, you got to help me find these. So we searched like D-ring. We searched all these words. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we searched all these words, but unfortunately uh, they didn't come up. So I will have them linked in the Link Haven if you're interested. They're just a little a little cord and you can tighten tighten them around those around bobbins whatever you want but they were cheap and cheerful and that's what I like so that was a good purchase a practical purchase and then I got an order from Crafty Kitten which every month I get her kind of her bit bag I get the small Lugana bag and it comes with four pieces of like nine by twelves and I like this because I can make smalls I can get small charts and put them on these pieces of fabric okay don't look at my face camera look at the thing this is a piece that is not showing up on camera very well but it's called sunflower this is a 32 count merino and I will insert a picture so that you can see the true color. 
it's a gorgeous pale yellow uh, and I think it would work really well with reds like a brick red on it really nice next up we have a piece of 32 count merino dark called ocean trench beautiful a little bit darker in real life that one is gorgeous next up I have the March 2020 limited edition 28 count Lugana which is a gorgeous deep purple color I'll just go ahead and throw up all the pictures for everything because I don't think this is coming out very well my apologies weather and then we have latte this is a 20 count no 28 count Jobelin which the weave looks super plump it's interesting it's like the holes the fibers are thicker and the holes are smaller so I've never I don't think I've ever stitched on Jobelin but it's a beautiful color really nice colors I'll put them side by side so that you can see those were my cross stitching purchases um, I looked at a website called Tilton crafts but I managed to Get myself away from there because they're all full coverage cross stitch pieces as well and they if you're looking for full full cross stitch and you're looking for something other than heaven and earth designs that is an option tilton crafts just t-i-t-l t-i-l-t-o-n i can spell it's okay this girl never won a spelling bee okay all right now let's go into yarny goodness. So I have a few things to show you in haul for yarn, uh, but they're not, well, this isn't too exciting. I went to Aldi and I got four packets or four skeins of baby yarn. This is a very plush yarn and it was only five euro. Uh, it says it's super bulky, number six. They recommend eight millimeter. Uh, there's a pattern in here. On the back of the label, apparently. I'm really curious now. A knitted baby blanket. Knit pearl, knit pearl, basically. Uh, I don't know what it looks like though. That's not helpful. Anyway, I purchased that because it's very, very soft. It's like Chanel. Okay. <laughs> Confession. So when I get knit crate and my knit crate has been not well okay in April I chose a is it April or March I chose a natural colored uh, yarn for my subscription I should have gotten two boxes of that they still haven't arrived the mail is very slow <laughs> we all know that um, but at the same or near the same time, maybe the week before, sorry, there's a fly in my room. Sorry if that's distracting. Go settle somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> um, I decided to double down. They give you a significant discount on the Hanks that they send in the box so you can purchase more for certain projects. So I bought more. Uh, I told you all that I was waiting for this to come in and so now I have a bunch of alpaca yarn in Christmas colors look how beautiful those colors are see those colors are coming out nice and rich that's true to color well the red is a little bit more muddy red but it's beautiful right so I have lots and lots of, of alpaca so that's three of these and four whoa four of the green which i 
found a really beautiful scarf pattern, but I have, this feels like more than a scarf. Uh, I think I'll be able to do a, a big poncho or a shawl or something, but I want it to be Christmassy and I want it to be ultra soft, something I'll wear all the time. I wear scarves all the time. So if I make a big blanket scarf, I think, yeah, that's the plan anyway. So I haven't purchased the pattern yet, but uh, I'll show you the pattern that I'm thinking of. I'll put it over here. I know today's a bit rambly, but I'm stretching it out a little bit because I really don't have much to show y'all and I'm sorry, but we will have more to show next week. But this is the grand reveal. Also, this, this yarn is so floppy, like so floppy. <laughs> I love it. Um, I just, I want to, I want to knit it because I want to touch it. I'm a very textural person. Um, okay. So this is the grand reveal. My into the bloom cowl is complete. Now this is going to clash with what I'm wearing, but I'll tell you about it while I'm fixing it. Into the Bloom, the pattern, was written by Addison of Ruby and Roses Yarn. She's 16 and she has a YouTube channel. She has a knitting podcast and I like to just, you know, f kind of fluff it a bit in the front there. Again, kind of coming out on camera. On the top is daffodil. Then we have peonies, tulip, fields. The next one is fairy eggs, mermaid eggs, then grape hyacinth, and the last is harpy eggs. And at the very border on the bottom, this is actually my leftovers from Heather, which is from Kamra Yarns. So I have actually three different dyers in this particular piece, and I'll put it back on. So this is a really like fluffy, soft cowl. Um, it is all fingering weight except for the dragon horde yarn. I believe this is um this is a slightly more worsted feel to it. It's like their their base is just a little bit different. So the ruby and roses is all a hundred percent merino. Whereas I think that this has another fiber in it because it's just slightly more bulky, but it's actually really cozy and it's going to be super warm. And I think it'll look really fun underneath a coat, you know, underneath a black coat or something. It's just going to really stand out and look cute. Yellow is not my color, but it, it looks pretty cute. I wish that my camera was going to work with me today, but I wore the wrong thing. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sure you will see it on other videos as well because I'm super, super happy about it. Now, I'm gonna let you go for today. I am I thank you for joining me. I thank you for watching through to the end. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you're new here and you like what you say and you'd like to hang out with me in the future, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I go live or make a new video. And speaking of going live, I will be going live on my channel next Thursday at nine o'clock Irish time PM. Please go to the, my videos on my channel, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the live stream there if you want to diamond paint with me next Thursday night and just click add reminder and it will remind you on your device or on your computer when I go live. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care everybody.